Greetings and salivations everyone! I'm Krista and welcome to Sea Rad. Today I've got some new clothing items for your Matilda child from Such a Bird Sewing, so stay tuned. And if you love our videos and want to see more, please subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us in the future! Sea Rad! Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope you're doing totally rad. Guys, this is Greeby. If you haven't met him before, he was actually one of my first Mattel the Childs, and he loves wearing the robe from Such a Bird Sewing, and this is the Luke-inspired robe. So, I have him here today because I have a new robe from Such a Bird Sewing, and I have some new clothing items if you made a girl little the child as well. So yeah, we're going to review all of those. I'm not only going to try the robe on Greeby, but I'm going to put it on Fisher and on Hammy just so you can see how it fits on the different Mattel the Childs. And the dress, yeah, Annabelle's going to be my little model for that. So you ready guys? Let's hop right into it and see those new clothing items. The first item I have from Amanda at Such a Bird Sewing is this really cute turtleneck sweater. And yes, we're going to try this on Greeby so you can see how it looks. But it's a little long sleeve sweater with the little turtleneck and the fabric has a little bit of a kind of texture to it. I probably rather see this on a girl the child but we're gonna try it on greeby because he's the easiest one to get it onto right now so yeah let's take a look at it on him and see how it looks all right guys here is mr greeby in his turtleneck sweater i think it looks really good on him i was wrong it's not just for little girl baby yoda dolls so yeah he looks really super cute in this lengthwise it comes down just a little bit past the length of his body if i were to put this on fisher it would be like just a shirt and his legs would be sticking out probably about that much so these are made like a little robe like turtleneck sweater for your unmodified mattel the child or if you have one with a reborn body or legs, then yeah, it would just be like a regular shirt with the legs sticking out. But super cute. The fabric is actually really soft and it's super stretchy. So this is one of the easiest things I've ever put on one of my little Grogu dolls. The length on the arms is perfect. It's got a little bit of a string there, but you can tuck that up and take care of that later. No big deal, but yes, quality wise her sewing always top notch and this is a really really cute robe alternative if you want to put something different on your doll these are still available on the such a bird sewing website as of right now as of the filming of this video but it does say low in stock and i saw there were a couple different colors on it as well and then price wise they range about 15 to 25 dollars depending on which color you go with but there is the white turtleneck sweater robe for your Mattel the child and now let me show you something really cute so as cute as that little white turtleneck looked on greeby nothing is cuter than this little darling right here check out miss annabelle she is in one of such a bird sewing's pinafore dresses and look at the material has the little child with his little froggies and he's got the little razor crest knob and he's playing with a butterfly I think yep he's playing with a butterfly on there these dresses are so super adorable guys I love it Annabelle is also an unmodified the child plush so she does not have legs I do have a pair that I can throw on her kinda of like the DIY ones if you missed the video where I showed you how to do that right there guys but I prefer Annabelle in dresses and yeah I think she's just cute little petite thing the way she is so I barely put the legs on her Amanda does these dresses in a bunch of different patterns but look how super cute guys spin it around so you can see the back they are made for the Mattel the child so they fit them perfectly and just super duper adorable. I love it. Annabelle is going to be in this dress for a very, very long, long time, unless I decide to buy another one. But yeah, I think this is just perfect for her. Now, the little shirt that she has on underneath is sold separately from the dress. I have on her a green long sleeve t-shirt. 
Lengthwise, again, it's like that sweater robe where it comes down just kind of over the bottom of their body. The sleeve length, again, is just perfectly measured for the unmodified Mattel the Child, and it is the perfect accompaniment to these cute little dresses. And then Amanda had thrown in this cute little froggy bow. I'm sorry, I don't see those on her website, but I will double check with her and see if she sells them or who sells them. But look at the cute little froggy bow. It's just on like a little hair clip and I just have an elastic band around Annabelle's head so I can just slide it on there and she can have her bow on her head to match her pretty little dress. The dresses, there are still a couple available in this print on her website, and then she has other prints like I mentioned before. The dress is $35, and then the little shirts that go on underneath, she has a sale going on right now, guys, so they are $15 or normally they're 20 so if the sale goes off they're $20 for the shirts and 35 for the dress and again I will find out about these little hair clips see if they actually come with the dress or if it's something you need to purchase separately but guys what do you think Miss Annabelle she actually has another modification coming up on her and I can't wait to show you guys that but the modification does not involve this dress at all it's gonna involve up here so stay tuned for that guys i'm really excited and i can't wait to see how she turns out now the newest and most awesome item to come out of such a bird sewing guys this robe right here it's leather and it's got a suede collar and suede cuffs so yes this is a custom leather and suede robe for your mattel the child this was the last one in this color, but she has a darker brown one, and she actually has two variations of that on her website. So I'm going to show you what these look like on Fisher, on Greeby, and on Hammy, so you can see the difference on all of the child's, because it's extra large, so it's built for little baby Yodas with legs. So let's do this. We are going to start with Fisher. It's a basic Fisher. Hi, everybody! Yes, dude, I said we are going to try the robe on you first. So, yeah, ready, guys? Let's see what he looks like. All right, guys, are you ready to see Fisher? Here he is. Here he is in his beautiful leather jacket with his suede collar and suede cuffs. And you can see the lengthwise on him. He has a preemie newborn body, and his feet just stick out of the bottom perfectly. It's really, really well made, guys. Look at the details on the back. I will say the material, the leather, is a little stiff. And I did have a little bit of a problem getting his hands through the cuff. So I did have to kind of wrestle with him a little bit to get the arms on him. And one of the best things about this robe, if you guys remember, is I've been wanting one that kind of velcros all the way down the front. And this one does. So you just unvelcro here. Unvelcro the front. And yeah, it'll pop right off. You will notice underneath, this comes with the robe. Also, it is an under robe. And I will say the leather robe is much easier to get off than it is to get on. But here is the under robe. It's kind of like a velvety material. Super cute. Just a cute little robe to go underneath to give the illusion like we see on screen with the child. Let's see how it fits on Hammy now. So guys, here it is on Hammy. It's a little big for him. His arms don't quite reach out to the bottom of the sleeves like they did on Fisher. Well, this one does. The other one doesn't. So I'm not sure what's up with that there. But yeah, lengthwise, his feeties, it comes down probably about two inches past his little feeties there. So yeah, definitely on the little Mattel the Child Premium Plush, it's going to be a little bit big, and to me, it doesn't quite look right, even with the under robe under there. It's kind of cute, but yeah, the arms are a little bit off. So, 
Yes, you can get it for one of those if you'd like to, but yeah, I would pass with the premium plush. You can always reach out to Amanda if you have one of these guys and see if she can do a custom robe for them. But yeah, the ones on the website like this one right now, yeah, that would be a pass from me. But lengthwise, the premium plush is about the same as the regular Mattel the Child. So I'm going to try this one on Greeby now and see how it looks on him, see if the arms work out okay. And yeah, we'll decide which one that looks on best after I see it on all three. And guys, here it is on Greeby. It's cute. The arms on it are actually, they're pretty long. I'll show you there. It does the same thing that it was doing on Hammy there. But I had to kind of grab his hand and make his little hand stick out in the hopes that the robe would stay in that position. But it's cute, lengthwise, same as Hammy. You've got a few inches there overlapping over his little beanie bottom. But it, it gives that oversized look that Grogu has on screen. The underrobe underneath is cute and sticking out. So yeah, it's cute. On our scale of totally bad to totally rad, quality-wise, guys, it's a definite totally rad. Look at her stitching on there. It's just, it's, yeah, her quality is top-notch. On a scale of totally bad to totally red on how it fits the unmodified Mattel the Child, I'm going to have to knock a couple little points off there because, yeah, because of the arm thing, if you move him just even the slightest way, the little arm pops down and it just doesn't look right. If you're going to be putting it on a child that's just going to be kind of sitting around and not moving, yeah, it might be good for that. But otherwise, I would use it on a Reborn like Fisher because I just think it would look better on one of those. So guys, what do you think of the items from Such a Bird Sewing? I think little Annabelle is just super sweet in that dress. I love it so, so much. And again, I love the robe, just not on an unmodified Mattel the Child. I have a new body review coming up, so I might actually try the robe out on that one to see how that works, so stay tuned for that. And of course, I have the little modification I talked about with Annabelle, so stay tuned for that as well. But in the meantime, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more awesome and totally rad The Child and Mandalorian things in the future, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say, right guys? We'll see you later.